So I've been trying to get green screen footage into my scene, you could say. And I'm going to do a quick, uh, so I kind of figured it out, maybe not all the parts, but I want to stop and explain what I did just so that it's recorded somewhere. First though, uh, I am going to show you what the scene looks like normally. So I've been working on this, uh, ooh, six FPS, why is that? I think I... Nope. Turn all these off. There we go, that should do it. All right, so this is a decent FPS. Um, probably some stuff to improve, but right now this controller is like locked to the motion in the scene. You can look around if you want to figure out how I did this. Uh, I have some other videos that I talked about this quite extensively, but this is just looking around the scene and this is controlling a camera in the scene. Now what I want to do is eventually I'm going to connect this to a actual camera, which will record, you know, a real life scene in front of a green screen, pipe the video into Unreal and Unreal is going to composite everything together. Um, so I finally figured out roughly how to do that. So I want to take a moment and checkpoint it and record what I did. Uh, okay, so the, the first way I tried was actually like taking a media, here, I'm going to stop this. Taking a media element like this and um, just putting it on a plane in the scene. And then I tried to composite out the green screen in the, in the material and it worked terribly. It did not look good at all. So I went and Googled and YouTubed for a while and then I eventually stumbled upon something called the Composure uh, plugin. So you actually have to go here, go to plugins and type Composure and then click this and add it. And then this will give you a new window under uh, right here, Composure Compositing. And there's two steps to this that I learned. One is if you go on YouTube, there's a ton of tutorials explaining like how to compose your composite. But I was stuck on like, okay, now that I have this composite, how do I see it with this camera that I'm tracking? And then um, it turns out it was one, one step. But before we get there, uh, let me just do a quick review of what this composure composite actually is. So, uh, and, and this is, I would just like Google for, there's like a bunch of tutorials and maybe I'll link to one. Um, so I have this composite, which is going to do two things. It's going to take the media source and it's going to take a, a CG rendering out of the scene and then just slam them together. So I'll give you a quick tour of both of these. Um, this media plane is coming from, uh, so if I go down to details, I'm just selecting this media player, which is right here, uh, this thing right here, and then, uh, or, oh, sorry, this one right here. And then in here, uh, I have, how did I add this footage? So I created a custom game mode. You could probably also do this in the levels blueprint um, which is right here and then open levels blueprint. You just need it to be something that runs when you press play. And there's a bunch of different places you could do that. I did it here. And what I'm doing is, um, I'm just saying set the, like set the, vi set the, that media element in the scene to this video. If you don't do that, I think sometimes it shows up black. Anyway, so once that's going, uh, I just set this as the input, and then the next thing you have to do, and this is all built in, which is nice, is there's a chroma key here. So I just went through these three steps, and if you've done anything like DaVinci Resolve, or I guess Premiere, or After Effects, or anything that chroma keys, this should be pretty familiar. You, um, you go in and you select your key, so I added a color here, which was green, uh, and I got that by just popping this open, uh, like making it a little smaller, opening this, clicking the eyedropper, and 
literally clicking on the video. So that's probably the best way to do it. And then um, if you're used to green screening, you'll have to despill it a little bit where like the green halo on people, you turn that uh, away from green to like another color. So she's despilled a little bit and then erode. So there's usually like a small fringe and you just play with these numbers until they make sense. And that's it for this one here, uh, I think. I don't think I changed anything else. Um, the CG element is, is the part that I got stuck on a little while because I was trying to blend the old way I did it with the new way. And it does not work because in here you have to set, so all I really did here under this composure tab was go to input and there's a lot of tutorials about foreground and background stuff and I didn't put any, I just left it on blank. And um, camera source. So either it just works under inherited or you can click on override and then I just dragged and dropped a camera into this scene. So if you type camera, uh, let me focus on it. Yeah, I've just got this camera right here. It's a dumb old cinematic camera. It doesn't really do much. And um, that's what I wanted Composure to be looking through because I'm going to move that camera with this controller later. So uh, I'm not 100% sure why in my example I didn't have to explicitly select it. I just had uh, inherited. But let's put this back to override so you can explicitly set it. So I've got, I'm just, it's like that, you know, camera in the scene, use that camera. And then it's just gonna layer these two things together. Um, why does this say suspended? Possibly because, oh, I actually know why. There. Uh, that The default set, so this is what it would look like. And if you go on all the tutorials online, you'll see like an example just like this. And that was great, it got me really far, it got me all set up, but then I wanted to blend it with, I wanna move the controller around, and I want the piece that's being composited to move around with the, with the film on top. And um, <laughs> all I did was I created a, oh, it's auto-saving, give me one sec. I created a blueprint for a pawn. So you would do that with you know, new blueprint class, click pawn. And then when that opens, um, what I what I want to do is I have a camera in the scene, and you need to connect that camera both to this controller on one side, but also to the compositor on the other side. And you can't attach that camera, I think, to either of them. It has to like be on its own. So the camera sitting in the scene, I just dragged it in on its own. And then this, this blueprint right here is how I'm going to attach it to this. So what I did was if you go in here and create a new variable, um, which I did, actually, I'll just delete this and <laughs> start again. So let me delete, yeah, delete, delete. So I'm going to create a variable and the variable is the way the blueprint gets an input from the outside. So it's a little misleading to call it variable. It's kind of like a, a property that you can set ex externally. So I'm just gonna call this camera, or you can call it whatever you want. A couple things you have to do. One, you have to make it public. And two, it's got the wrong type. So under here, you wanna go to camera, and I'm using cinematic cameras. So I'm gonna click this Cine Camera Actor object reference. And I think that should work. Uh, if I compile it, um, I think I'm just missing one thing, which is, uh, yeah. So I gotta drag this onto here, get camera, and then the rest of this code, which is like in all of my other videos, but all I'm doing is grabbing this motion controller, taking the transform, which is where it is in space, and then picking off uh, the, the translation and the rotation and just copying them over. So compile that. So when you run this game, that's gonna now move the camera according to this. So let's go back here and I'm gonna hit play. And I, I, think, I think I've still got it set up wrong, so it's not quite gonna work. 
So you can see that this camera is moving, which is great. Don't mind the six frames per second. That's a, a whole other mess we need to deal with. But what we really want is the, the actor to be composited with the camera, the one from the green screen. So I like, I went through all sorts of ideas. Like you can pop out this, um, this view of, of the uh, composite, but for whatever reason, it's suspended during play. This is what I want, but I want it to move. But when I hit play where it moves, this is suspended. And I was like, driving me nuts. Okay, this is all I did to get it working. I clicked on this composite. I went down to output, which seemed reasonable. And uh, every, this is under composure. So, because there's also an, uh, there's an input down here. And I got a little confused because you, if you're talking about the inputs and outputs, you want the input and output under composure. So, uh, oh, my video in OBS is, hold on, it's overlapping the important part. So I'm going to make myself smaller, I think. Don't mind me, I'm still here. All right. Perfect. Okay, so under composure here, uh, what did I do? I went to output and I just pressed, give me an output. And I said, player viewport, player viewport compositing output. That sounds what, what I, this is the viewport. Then I hit play and look what happened. It all worked. Now in reality, um, see how this person's staying still? That's because the camera in their world isn't moving. But the camera that I'm actually going to use is going to be attached to, you know, the thing that's generating the footage and this controller will be on it. So it'll be camera controller and when one moves, the other moves. Uh, in theory, that should all line up and then this will look more natural. But I'm pretty, pretty pleased with this. This feels like progress right now. So, uh, you know, it looks good. If I hold the camera really still, let me just put something on it so it doesn't move. Uh, maybe in a little bit of a more realistic angle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now she's not on the floor. Yeah, I'm great at this. Oh, like there. You know, it. There's, she's missing a shadow, which we can deal with, but not bad. I'm, I'm fairly pleased with this. And really what I want to do is uh, I'm going to try and composite this, not all live, but later. So if a few things aren't quite right, I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, okay, so we're getting closer. The end goal is to just like be able to spin up a virtual scene. Someone walks in front of a green screen and suddenly you're there. Um, I'm, I'm basically going off of other people's YouTube videos, which uh, I should start linking to them, but I'm mostly using this as a journal to record what I've tried and also kind of like explain it a little more because when I watch these YouTube videos, they're often like, do this, 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 and this, and I'll do them and maybe it works, but like the moment I need to change something, I don't really understand anything that I've done. So whenever I learn something, I try to record a video and like walk people through it a little more like there's a bunch of stuff in here that you don't like I played with uh, creating custom game modes and HUDs which is like an overlay I sh there's a lot of stuff to explain basically anyway progress is progress thanks for coming uh, see you next time